So earlier in the show, we were talking about Transformers 3. Yeah. And Bill Daniels writes on my Facebook page that he's such a huge Transformers fan that he has deception symbol tattooed on his chest. I wow. don't even know what that means. So little did I know, resident expert Kellen here, who works up in our production our department, production booth. actually knows a lot about Transformers. I what do. What is the deception symbol? That's, it's Decepticon, actually. Decepticon. Yeah. Oh. They're the bad guy Transformers. What did you think yeah. of Transformers 3? I loved it. I thought it was fantastic, but uh, I have actually a different viewpoint on the films than a lot of other people. Okay. I believe them to be uh, intense, ironic comedies and statements oh. on the film industry in general. Really? I do. I, well, I, I and this is, a, this is a popular topic upstairs in the production booth this as well. This is true. Well. This, this, yeah, is, this true. is true. These guys talk about it all we the time. We talk about them endlessly for several days now. Yeah. So did you think 3 was better than 1 and 2? Uh, probably. It had more explosions, which is what you look for when you go see a Michael you, you, Bay movie. I really like You yeah. seem like an explosion kind of guy. Oh, I love explosions. <laughs> you know? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? <laughs> well, thanks for sharing, Kellen. And if you have any comments about Transformers 3 or 1 and 2, Natasha at organsbox.com. I thought it was great. Can we get a quick last check of the web? It's going to be gorgeous tomorrow. Gorgeous tomorrow and uh, even warmer than it was today, in fact. Awesome. 87. All right. Good night. We'll see you back here tomorrow. That's fun.